All right, let's create a chord melody arrangement for Take Me Out to the Ball Game. We've gone over various sections, but now let's put it all together. The first measure, the prevailing chord, is a C. The first melody note is a C. We'll notice that the next melody note is a higher C. So we'll use the lower C that we find in our C major chord vocabulary. So the first chord is a C major. Go to your chord vocabulary, C major, and find the chord that has the low C in it, which is... Okay, the second melody note is a higher C. We go to the C major chord vocabulary and find the C major chord with the melody C note on top, which is... Okay, so the first two chords... The third melody note in the second measure is an A note. The prevailing chord is C major. So we go to our chord vocabulary under C major and find the C major chord with the A on top, which is C6. The very next note is a G note. The prevailing chord is C major. Go to our chord vocabulary chart under C major and find the chord, which is C major 7th. The next note is an E, descending from G. The prevailing chord is a C major. Go to the C major chord vocabulary and find the chord, the C major chord, with the E on top, which is C major 7th. So now let's look at those first two measures and play them through. Our next chord, prevailing chord, is a G dominant seventh in the third measure with a G note on top. So go to your chord vocabulary, G7, G dominant seventh, and find the G dominant seventh with the G on top, which is... The next melody note is a D, descending from G. So go to your chord vocabulary, G7 section, and find the G dominant seventh with the D on top. Let's take the first four bars now. G seventh with the G on top. G seventh with the D on top. The next measure, the prevailing chord goes back to C with the low C in the melody. The next note is a high C with the C as the prevailing chord. So we go to the C major section of the chord vocabulary and we find the C chord with the C on top. The next note again is an A note. The prevailing chord is a C. So we go to our chord vocabulary under C major and find the C chord with the A on top. C6. The next note again is G, prevailing chord C. Go to the chord vocabulary chart under C major and find the chord, the C major chord with the G on top, C major 7th. Once again, we go to the E note, descending from G, prevailing chord is C, so we go to the C major section of the chord vocabulary and find our C major chord with the E on top. The next chord is G7 with a G note on top. So we go to our G7 section of the chord vocabulary and find that G7 chord with the G note on top. 
So let's go over the first eight measures now and get this down before moving on. Okay, moving on, we notice the prevailing chord becomes A7, A dominant 7. The melody note is an A. So we go to our A dominant 7 section of the chord vocabulary, and we find the chord, A 7th chord, with the A on top. Now we notice the next note is G sharp, which is outside of the scale. So one of our options is to play that note as a single note. Back to the A seventh with the A on top. The next measure is an E note and the prevailing chord is still A7. So we're going to look at our A7 section of the chord vocabulary and find the A7th chord with the E note on top, which is... The next note is an F natural, which is outside of the scale, so we're going to play that as a single note. And the next note is a G note. The prevailing chord is A7. So we go to the A7 section of our chord vocabulary and find the A7 chord with the G on top, which is... So let's take those two measures of A7 and play that through. time. Single note, because it's outside of the scale. And then we move on and we see that the prevailing chord is D minor. The melody note is an A. So we go to the D minor section of the chord vocabulary and find the D minor chord with the A note on top, which is... The next note is an F note, descending from the A note. The prevailing chord is still D minor, so we will look at the D minor section of the chord vocabulary and find the D minor chord with the F on top, which is... The next note is a D note, descending from the F note. The prevailing chord is still D minor. So we'll look in the D minor section of the chord vocabulary and find the D minor chord with the D note on top. So let's go over those two measures of D minor. Once again... So let's review from the A seventh to D minor, those four measures. Once again. Let's review from the beginning up to that point.
next chord is D dominant seventh with the A note as the melody note. If you notice, that note is ascending from the previous D note on the D minor. So D dominant seventh, the prevailing chord, A note is the melody note. So we go to our D dominant seventh section of the chord vocabulary and we find the D7 with the A note on top, which is this one, a D9. The next note is an A note, again. The next note of the next measure is also an A note with the D7, so the same chord. Now I'm going to, on the next note, which is a B and then a C, I'm going to play those as single notes as we went over in the options. So the D7, the two measures, I don't care if I, are the lyrics. We're going to hit D7 with the A note on top, which we found in our D7 section of the chord vocabulary. Single notes. Up to the G7 is now the prevailing chord with the D note on top. So we go to the G7 section of the chord vocabulary and find the G7 chord with the D note on top. Okay, the next note is a B note. The prevailing chord is G7. But we're going to use this B note and the following A note as single notes. The next note is a G note. The prevailing chord is still G seventh. So we're going to look in our chord vocabulary under G seventh and find the G seventh chord with the G note on top. The next two notes, E and D, we're going to use as single notes just as we went over in our options. This will allow the music to sound a little freer and less cluttered. So let's go over those two measures of G7th. G7th with the D note on top, a single B note, a single A note, and then a G7th chord with the G on top, which we referenced from our chord vocabulary. Then the E note and the D note we'll use as single notes. And then we're back to C as the prevailing chord with the C note in the melody, which we can reference that chord with the C note on top from our C major section of the chord vocabulary. So let's go over those four measures, starting on D7 with the A note on top, to the G seventh with the D on the top, single notes, G seventh with the G on top, single notes, back to C with the C in the melody. So let's now take the first half of the song, the first 16 measures, and put it together. C with the C note in the melody, so we reference our C major section of the chord vocabulary and hit the chord. The next note is the higher C, still in C major, so we reference our chord vocabulary under C major and find the chord with the high C in C major. The next note again is A, 
the prevailing chord C major. So in the C major section of the chord melody vocabulary, we find C sixth again. The next note is G. Prevailing chord is still C. So under the chord vocabulary C major section, we find the C major seventh. The next note is E again, descending from G. Prevailing chord C major. C major section of the chord vocabulary will show you C major seventh. Next chord is G7. Melody note high G. So we go to the chord melody vocabulary G7 section and we find next note is D, prevailing chord G7. Under the G7 section of the chord vocabulary we find then once again we hit the D note. Now we're on to C7, C dominant 7 with the C note in the melody. So we go to the C dominant section of the chord vocabulary and find the chord, C seventh chord, with the C note on top. Then the D note. Prevailing chord C7. Under our chord melody vocabulary guide, under C dominant seventh, we find... Next note is E. Prevailing chord still is C7. The C7 section of the chord vocabulary shows. The next note is F. Prevailing chord C7. The chord vocabulary guide under C dominant 7 shows. Then a G note. Prevailing chord is C7. The chord guide. The next note is A. Prevailing chord is now F. So we go to our F section of the chord vocabulary and find the F chord with the A note on top, which is F major 7th. So now let's take it from root, root, root for the home team, which is the beginning of the second half, or starting at bar 17. that one more time. That's a beautiful passage of the song. The next note is an A. Still the prevailing chord is an F major. So we go to the F major section of the chord vocabulary and we find F major 7th. Now the next note is a B natural. Prevailing chord is F major. That's a note that's outside of the scale. So we're going to play it as a single note. The next note is a C note with an F major chord. So we reference our chord vocabulary under F major, a C note, and we find F major 7th. Or one of the options is an F6-9. So you can choose either one of those. Since we're on the first string, I'm going to choose the F6-9, because it's closer to that single note melody. Rather than playing the single note and jumping all the way up here, we're going to play the C note with the F major, the F6-9, which you can reference in the F major section of 
the chord vocabulary. The next chord is a C diminished with the C note. So we get the high C note, and as we learned, we simply put the diminished chord there. So let's go over that. One, two. The next chord is a C chord with the high C note as the melody. So once again, we go to the C major section of the chord vocabulary and access the C chord with the C note on top. The next note is a B note. The prevailing chord is C, so we find our C chord in the chord vocabulary with the B note on top. Next, the C chord still prevails and there's an A note in the melody. So we go to our chord guide under C major and find. So that measure of C is. The next note is a G note and the prevailing chord is an A7. So we go to the A dominant 7 section of the chord vocabulary and find the A 7th chord with the G note on top. Now the next note is A sharp, uh, F sharp. I'm going to use those as single notes, the F sharp and the G. Okay, so the A7 with the G note on top, the F sharp note, single note, the G note, another single note, leading to D7 as the prevailing chord with the A note on top. So you reference your D7 section of the chord vocabulary, find the chord, the D7 chord with the G on top. The next prevailing chord is G7. The melody note is a B. Go to the chord guide under G7, the chord vocabulary under G7, and find the G7 chord with the B on top. And then finally, the last chord is a C with a C note on top. Again, ascending from the B note. So we go to the chord vocabulary under C major and find the C chord with the C melody on top. So we'll go over the last line of the music with the pickup notes for its one, C diminished, C major, single notes, D7 with the A on top, G7 with the B on top, and C. So let's just run through the whole song now, nice and slow. We're not worried about tempo. We're worried about cleanliness and good transitions between chords. Seventh. <laughs> 